All right, so now let me get into three new features in Cloud Code 2.0, which really caught my attention. Well, Cloud Code 2.0 just launched the usage command, and I can pull that up, and it gives you this nice little graph that tells me in the current session how much I've used, where I'm at on my weekly limit across all models, and then where I'm at on the Opus limits. And what's also nice about this view is that, you know, it actually tells me uh, when the current session is going to end. So I could see myself pulling up that usage graph uh, pretty regularly. All right, the next new feature in Cloud Code 2.0 is the rewind feature. So I just pulled up a previous conversation where you know I made a bunch of changes uh, to the current code base. And what that does is it gives me a little list, sort of like a map of this entire uh, conversation, and it gives me these little checkpoints. So here's a point in this conversation where I made a bunch of edits to eight different files. So I can go back to any of these, and then it's gonna ask me, do I wanna restore the code and the conversation, or just the conversation, or just the code? Now, before 2.0, we did have the option to go back to a certain point in the conversation, but now we can actually restore the state of the code base, like literally undoing the code changes that Claude Code made earlier in the conversation. Now, there are a few caveats to this when you're using the checkpointing feature, you know, that rewind command. So first of all, if you're using bash to change any files, or if you personally make any code changes yourself, when you rewind, it won't actually roll back your own code changes. It's only gonna roll back the changes that the Claude code agent actually made in your code base. All right, the third new feature in Claude code 2.0 that I'm gonna find really useful is actually the ability to search through past prompts. So I can do control R and that's gonna bring up this search prompts and I can just you know type in anything. And this is really good for pulling up those longer prompts that I spent a lot of time just typing or drafting. But what's actually really useful about this is in those cases where I have a really long running conversation and I'm starting to see the notification down here that I'm running low on space in the current context window, that's when I would typically like to use the compact command. So that could be really useful to do something like control R to find a recent prompt where I, you know, I can just do uh, compact and then I would just paste in, you know, all of those additional details that I just pulled up from the search. 